Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Garden State Growing. Once again, my name is Eric. I'm doing something today that has needed to be done for a very long time now, and that is start some seedlings. I did start my uh, super hots a couple weeks ago, but I'm really behind on a lot of other starts that I need to do. Uh, and that is, I did two other videos that covered things like uh, correcting the correct po uh, seedling trays, to drainage, to holes in the bottom, to soil medium, to frost states. So if you didn't watch those videos, you can stop. I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, and you can go check out those videos if you want more in-depth detail. Because I'll be perfectly honest with you, uh, starting seedlings is relatively not that difficult. I'm just gonna give you a couple little tips as we go along. Uh, first of all, I picked out the seedlings that I want to plant today. And I have them right here. I have them nicely organized. I found this little beautiful, it's supposed to be like a photo organizer, but who takes photos anymore that are analog? Uh, so I transferred that into a seed organizer and this thing is just absolutely marvelous. I got it on Etsy from Michaels. Uh, I think it was like 12 bucks. It's really fantastic as far as organizing. I'm so terrible at it that anything that I could have to help me organize is key. So I have my 72 cell tray here. I filled it up with cream moistened seed starting mix from Jiffy's which is an inert a seed starting mix. It's not a soil. It's just coca choir, peat moss, vermiculite, perlite. It doesn't really have any nutrition in it. We're relying on the nutrition from the seeds for the first week or two. And then we'll get more into how to fertilize your seedlings a little bit later on. So I have this 72 cell tray here in front of me and I kind of want to organize this to a certain degree. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my peppers. And I have, I have quite a few peppers. Uh, I did plant 18 super hots, which is fantastic because I always wanted to really uh, grow a super hot pepper. The only problem is I don't have a ton of usage for super hot besides making some incredibly hot hot sauces so i do want to have peppers that i can grow and eat and so all three of these containers right here do have some peppers in them so i'm going to divide them up and i'm going to just press down this soil a little bit to give me a little bit of room a little bit of gap on top i don't want to go crazy deep with peppers if i find one cell has too much i'll just take some out and i'll put it into a cell that doesn't have enough uh, I'm not going to really push these down, but I want to pack them down just a little bit. And like I said, these have all been pre-moistened with boiling water. And the boiling water is only to um, help stave off maybe any kind of fungal or bacterial or pest issue that might reside. I mean, usually uh, these seed starting mix are, are very good, very well uh, sterilized as they are. but. I do like to just give them that little extra boost of boiling water. So let's see what we have here. So before we get into what we have here or what we're gonna plant, okay, uh, it's very easy. I look at the back of the seed packet and it will tell me start indoors eight to 12 weeks before your last frost date. Now I, I personally know peppers are a very long germinator. So I would caution more to the 12 week range than the eight week range. Uh, so these are all going to go into the soil right now. If you don't know when to plant, what you want to plant, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. Like I said uh, in my last video, you can look up your last frost date, but in order to know your last frost date, you need to know what growing zone you're in. So type in your zip, zip code and find your growing zone. Here, I'm like seven. So that means for me, my last frost date is around May 20th. So I am about right now, eight to 10 uh, weeks out, uh, 10 weeks to be specific. So I'm a little late on some of these seeds and I'm gonna be a little bit early on others and that's quite all right. But now I, I planned out my garden. I have a video on that as well. 
And I know that I can only accompaniment, I, I'm, I don't know exactly how many pepper plants I want to plant this year. I have a full bed, which is going to be around two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's gonna be around 16 to 18 plants. So my super hots are gonna take up an entire bed of mine, which means I don't know how much other room I'm gonna give up or create another bed for more peppers. So I don't have that much room to put more peppers in here. So I might have to be a little selective. Um, okay, so I think I'm definitely going to go with the Tabasco. That was a great producer last year. I absolutely loved it. I have an orange habanero, but I'm also growing a lemon habanero inside with the super hots. But this was a great producer. So I think I'm going to do that jalapeno. I'll get them later. Jalapenos is an absolute must. The Bugalo, uh, the Barutolokia. I love these. And I did, I do have a strain of super hot growing inside. So I don't think I'm going to grow this pack this year. Um, Hungarian yellow wax is always a great one. Caribbean hot habanero. Oh, I have some more lemon habanero right here. This large red cherry hot was an amazing producer last year. I absolutely loved it. I use these for stuffing. I use these for um, chicken Murphy. Uh, so many different recipes. What a flavorful, beautiful uh, pepper that's got a, a tough bite to it. I this is an absolute must. I have some more Caribbean orange, and then I have from Burpees. A real deal hybrid. Unusual habanero, fruits, cute little puckered pouches that ripen from green to red. It's hot as Tabasco. All right, we're gonna try this one out. The real deal hot pepper. So we're gonna put these away and let's just start with these. All right, so when it comes to actually starting my seeds, it's really not that difficult. I don't take anything and poke holes and judge depths of how I'm gonna do it. I just try to make sure that the soil is about a quarter to an eighth of an inch below the surface. And then I'm just gonna take my seeds and Oh wow, I think I have like, these are seeds from last year. I think I have two. Three. I have three Tabasco seeds. That's okay. Actually, since I only had three seeds left from last year, I'm gonna put two in the cell and one in this cell. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is the simplest thing, but believe it or not, it's one of the most important things, okay? And that is labeling your plants. Now I bought these labels from Amazon, whatever. The only thing I want to really make sure that it said UV resistant on the box. Okay, because last year I had a major issue where all the plant tags that I had put in had completely washed away because I had used a non-UV tag and a non-UV marker. So what I have here, this is the first thing I'm gonna show you. It's from Artline Markers. I will put a description in the bottom. This is a gardening marker, specifically designed for gardening. It's specifically designed not to uh, disappear with water, with weather, with heat, with UV radiation. So I am gonna take this and I am going to be very specific. So today is, uh, it is 329, 21. I love how this is writing on here right now. I don't know if you guys could see this. I'll show you, but it writes, it makes my handwriting look terrific. And this is the pepper, I'm gonna say pepper. Tabasco, it's a hot pepper, which I should already know, but I'm gonna label it. All right, so I'm just gonna bully my way through this and I'm gonna do the rest of these seeds and then I'll come back when it's time to do something uh, a little different. 
All right, guys, so I'm just going to bring you in. I'm going to show you the uh, sweet peppers that I'm doing this year. I'm not going to get much into them, but I think I'm going to have to do a whole sweet pepper bed this year because uh, I think they're deserving of it. The super hots are great. They're fun to grow and experiment with, but it's the sweets that I'm looking for. So I'm going to do the rest of this half of the tray with all my sweets and maybe even the rest of this. And then when I go back to looking at the garden and where I get the plant, maybe I'll make some sacrifices here or there about what I'm going to be putting there and make sure that these sweets get into the garden. So what we have here was the Sunbright well, uh, Yellow, a great producer last year. The California Wonder Bell, not so much. The Autumn Bell, not so much. Pimento, I'm definitely going to try again. The Yolo Wonder was fantastic. Uh, the Big Red Sweet was really good. Uh, paprika, uh, we're going to have to try for that again. These yellow peppers, I love. Well, you can pick them when they're like still green and put them on your windowsill, and they will turn yellow for you. The uh, Coronado de Toro was an amazing sandwich pepper. I love this. Uh, the uh, Coronado de Toro uh, yellow, okay, this one was the red. This one is the yellow. The yellow was even better. Uh, I use this for stuffing, uh, for sandwiches, you name it. I mean, this is such a great producing plant. Uh, Chocolate Beauty, I didn't get that much off of them and they were small, but it was still a very beautiful pepper to grow. So I am gonna grow them again. The uh, Corral Bell pepper was great and the Jimmy Nardello was absolutely fantastic. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna try them all. I think I gonna give these two that didn't produce amazing last year. I think I'm gonna give them another shot. So let's fill up the rest of this tray. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Thank God, finally everything is done for planting my seeds for 2021. Well, almost. I still have some other seeds I'm gonna start four to six weeks before uh, planting, and I have a lot of seeds that I'm gonna just direct sell. I will bring you along for that. So here we go, there's a look at all of them. There's every vegetable you can practically think of. There are tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, cauliflower, broccoli rob, uh, what else? kohlrabi, onions, like I said, you name it is there. So all I'm going to do is come down here. I'm going to let them do their things. I have these two big row lights right on top of them. So that should be fine. I'm going to rotate these lower shelves up here. And I'm also going to spin these trays around. Uh, just to make sure they have even watering because these shelves are not perfectly level. I will fix that. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, humidity domes, I have that on here now. It was on here. They did get a little leggy, so I took the humidity dome off. I put it on this one, which was struggling for moisture just a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna just let these go. I'm gonna check on them once a day. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna lift them up. And you can tell real easily, because if they're heavy, you know they're moist. If they're light, you know they're not, you know. Uh, you know they need some water. So that's all I'm gonna do for now and I'm just gonna let these seeds hang out. This is my inside grow room. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, hit that like button. If you wanna let your friends and family know about it, hit that share button. I love you, have a great evening, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Good night. Whoa.
walking alone the streets are empty the only thing i can see is my own silhouette i'm getting strong i already called that open <laughs> <laughs> well, no i call it no! 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 <laughs> 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 i've been all around 